Oh, gosh, that is a monster tornado. Coming up, Missouri devastated by tornadoes. And as Arkansans gear up to help, the natural state could be next to be hit. And after April storms tore homes apart. It'll just take a long time to get back to what normal used to be. We cover the slow road to recovery in Bologna. Plus, a little good news. Gas prices drop just in time for Memorial Day. Now, from the station you count on. In-depth, investigative, part of your community. This is KARK 4 News at 6 in high definition. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is. Storm chaser video, multiple funnel clouds as a twister cutting a path nearly six miles long, a half mile wide, right through Joplin, Missouri. At least 116 people are feared dead after officials say the deadliest tornado in Joplin's history nearly obliterates the city. And sadly, as we've seen time and time again, the number of dead expected to rise in situations like this. The damage devastating and it may not be over. The city there at risk for more tornadoes. Good evening and thank you for joining us everyone. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Jancy Sheets. Severe weather continues to be a threat here in the natural state as well. It does indeed. Uh, right now, 14 current severe weather alerts. We find KRT4 as Brett Cummins following them all. What are our chances, Brett? Right now, Bob and Jancy, we are clear in terms of alerts in the state. Actually, if we Live Doppler radar shows no severe weather in the state of Arkansas. I want to show you what's going on, though, currently here in the city in terms of the Almanac High today, right around 83 degrees, 73 our low temperature this morning. And here's the way the radar is looking. Here's the storms up in northern sections of the state. Off to the east, there's active weather in western portions of Tennessee and over into Oklahoma. A tornado watch is in effect. There are a lot of storms off toward the west, and we're going to be monitoring the progression of those storms headed toward Arkansas and even southern Missouri over the next few hours. The very latest in your forecast on when they could arrive in just a few minutes. All right, we'll continue to follow it. Thanks a lot, Brett. Well, St. John's Hospital in Joplin took a direct hit from the tornado. And in case of severe weather, our local hospitals say they've been practicing their plans to protect the sick or injured patient. Care K4's Brittany Johnson spoke with a hospital close to the one damaged in Missouri. And by close Jancy, St. Joseph's and Hot Springs is part of the Mercy Network. There are about 28 hospitals in that network, which makes it a sister hospital to St. John's in Joplin. Right now, they're recruiting volunteers who are willing to go to Joplin and help. They also showed us how they work together within the hospital to get patients to safety. Now at St. Joseph's, that means following the steps of Code Tango. The severe weather plan there, nurses and staff get all patients into the hallway, even pushing people in their beds. Those that who are in critical condition and can't be moved are covered with blankets and pillows. Hospital staff was forced to put this plan into action a few weeks ago when severe weather devastated parts of Garland County. Oh, it's very sad and it's very scary, you know, because you, you don't think about that could be me, you know, and it can actually, our roof could be gone or it can be totally destroyed. You just think, you know, I'm going to do this. Other larger hospitals like UAMS have very similar plans. The Department of Health makes sure that hospitals have emergency plans and that they do regular drills. In addition to protecting patients, they also focus on scenarios where they have to treat an influx of patients due to natural disasters. Back to you. Well, we've received a ton of calls from people wanting to help neighbors to our north, and we have put together an easy way that you can be part of our push to work for the greater good. All you have to do is go to our website, ArkansasMatters.com, to make a donation or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. People can also text the word Red Cross to 90999. That is to make a $10 donation. Weather is taking its toll across the Mid-South. And before Missouri was hit, tornadoes were taking aim right here in Arkansas at Volonia in Faulkner County. KRK4 was Jessica Dean spent the day following families there on the road to recovery. She has this new at 6 report. Bob, as you know, recovery after a tornado is a very slow process. But the people we spoke today told us and most of all showed us how important it is to remain optimistic. The sounds of rebuilding fill parts of Bologna one month after a tornado blew through the small community, killing five and leaving a trail of damage behind. What happened? Is that what happened in the storm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It blew 
Three-year-old Maya Korsmeyer remembers the tornado. She took cover in the basement of this home with her mom, grandfather, and grandmother, Linda Korsmeyer. It just got black, dark. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. and. It seemed like forever, but it was only a couple of minutes and it was over and we'll be years cleaning up. For now, the Quartzmeyers live in a hotel. They expect it could be as long as six months before their home is back in working order. It's cleaner, but we're not got any further in reconstruction. It just takes time for contractors and checking with insurance companies. We've got instructions for you what to do. You'll, you'll fill out a report if you need help or if you want to help, you'll take one of these maps. At the Valonia Fire Station, FEMA forms, maps, and donations are still in place. You'll see folks now come in needing just the, the help with their place, uh, with their house, or putting their life back together again with, you know, trying to get some assistance. Where do we go? How do we do that? But even as the residents of Valonia deal with these major issues, there remains a resilience among them that they can get through this. Where would you be if you didn't have a positive attitude? You'd just say, here, <laughs> walk away, you know. Right, right. But with our granddaughter with us, she's always, do you look sad? You look sad. I'll sing you a song. <laughs> Not bad. Now, we are told there were a fair amount of people without any insurance, and they are literally left with nothing, trying to rebuild. And if you can volunteer, you're asked to either call or stop by the Valonia Fire Department. Back to you. All right, and the best thing, they are remaining optimistic about all of it. Well, have you made Memorial Day weekend plans yet? If not, here's a suggestion. Get in your car and drive. KRK4's Melissa Simas joins us now to tell us why this may actually be an economical option for you. Melissa. Well, Jancy, get ready for this. If you can believe it, gas prices are actually on the way down. And this is really hard to believe, especially because Memorial Day weekend is right around the corner. Now, in a reversal of what analysts and pundits were warning us just a month ago, oil prices are actually falling. And predictions are they will get even lower by June, just in time for summer driving. As of now, the Lundberg survey reports gas prices are down nationwide, about nine cents from just two weeks ago. Experts say flooding in the south is slowing demand and causing retailers to cut prices. Also, demand declined for fuel after the prices peaked in early May. Jackson, Mississippi has the nation's cheapest average price per gallon this week at 360. And here in Arkansas, the average price per gallon is 367. It drops just a little bit, but it's still too high. I drive a big gas guzzler. Uh so uh, it's pretty expensive, about $100 fill it up. I think it's wonderful. I wish it dropped more, but, <laughs> but that's wonderful. And just to let you know, we've actually had some viewers call uh, the newsroom and tell us that they have seen gas prices in their area as low as about 320, 327 a gallon. That's pretty low. So to find the cheapest gas where you live, head over to ArkansasMatters.com and just look for the gas tracker link. Jancy. All right, that is pretty low. Well, today in our poll question, we are asking, since gas prices have dropped, will you be taking a long road trip over the Memorial Day weekend? 15% say yes, we're leaving town. 85% say no, we're staying pretty close. Preliminary test results are in from a creek where 20 barrels of what some believed was drilling fluid were found. It's a KRK4 News update for you. According to the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality, fluid was found in some of the barrels, but so far preliminary tests show no impact to the water. Final test results are expected at the end of the week. We'll keep you updated. Little Rock School District takes another step forward in its battle to win back millions in desegregation funding from the state. Today, attorneys for the district filed a motion to stay the stunning order that canceled $70 million for Little Rock, North Little Rock, and Pulaski County Special School Districts. LRSD attorneys say Little Rock's six traditional magnets make up half the district's truly desegregated schools, so defunding them would work against the goal of racial balance. District leaders announced today that regardless of what happens in the court, they will keep the magnets open in the fall.